on the Patreon subscribers, the average bubbles, the euro is strong, the Aussie is weak. Note that the dollar is strengthening. The pound is also in a strong buy section as well. CAD, yen and Kiwi, Aussie are sell. Swiss is the only one that's mixed, which is interesting. Uh, so that's how we stand right now. There's something I just noticed about gold. Uh, with some bullish candles here, they stepped in. The, the big boys with their big money in their big pockets, they stepped in at 1843. Uh, so, and it's back to back buying as well. These are bullish institutional volumes. So keep an eye on 1843. Stop loss clustered there is at 1840. One above is at 1870. Uh, be careful because we've got some resistances here, but we've also got some supports from the better volumes. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, the sellers are now in control. So these are the profitable, successful traders. So they've got a bearish bias on gold. Do note that 1843 might hold. If it doesn't, then the SRC looks likely. Uh, or oh, it might even carry on. Depends on what they do with their stops. They might move their stops lower, which is a possible scenario. Uh, so that's that. So that's gold. So bear in mind that's how we stand. 1843 might be okay because that's where the buyers stepped in this is the big boys uh so um also another tip as well um the currency strength index so the pound the dollar sorry is strengthening and the pound is weakening so this is how you can use it you can see the pound weakening over time and the dollar is strengthening so we can get a gu short so hopefully that makes sense we've got a we've got a crossover here and so we can look at uh you know, pound USD, and uh, it's currently falling because, you know, technicals and sentiment and things. Uh, but really, from that, really, it's, it's, it's crossing over. So that helps us identify a trade opportunity by using this website. It's quite good. Uh, so, you know, the one below, possible, 12079. One above is at 12180. Monthly pivots there. Weekly open, below that then you'd probably want to target ATR short, but you got we've got monthly support in the way. So that's GU. Uh, we had some inflation data out as well. Obviously, it didn't like it so much. And uh, we see the pound is weakening over time going into that data release. Uh, Euro. Uh, might make it actually really quick, actually, this one. I'm not going to waffle too long. 108.10. The one below is at 106.50. Uh, we've got weekly open. Because uh, we've got that, we can target ATR long. Below the weekly open, we target the SLC. Okay, below the SLC, then the ATR short. But it looks like it's probably just going to want stops because <laughs> it's horrible, isn't it? It's really cool. AU. Um, and uh, so you know, we should probably be falling AU because of the. Um, Failure rate, look at Aussie, sell, dollar is buy. Okay, so that's key. It's key that you're using the spreadsheet and then you look at it. Just just takes like five minutes to look at in the morning. You can look, open up with like your coffee and see how we stand. So they're, sentimentally, therefore, we should be falling on AU. Okay, and we can see Aussie and uh, we're falling. So there's monthly pivot. That's your technical bias. SLC is likely 68.50 and the one above is at 69.20 so um, I guess we'll do dollar yen we'll keep it quick today and uh, which this should probably be continuing to fall <laughs> uh, one above 133.50 on UJ one below is at 132.50 and uh, that's that so above the weekly open we target the uh, SLC We've actually surpassed ATR long, so keep an eye on 13303. We've surpassed it quite a bit, uh, so be careful. It might just want to get that before falling. Uh, 21 pips away, so that's worth noting. Technically, we've a little bit overdone, so it might just want to grab that and down. And I think EU did uh, what I forecast yesterday. Let's have a look. EU again. Um, did we do it? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I was saying we were going to come up um, 14th. Wow, what a spike. 
<laughs> yeah, I was, I was basically saying ATR long, target SLC, and down. And you can just check yesterday's Patreon video if you want. Uh, but that's just what exactly what happened. So we've got the technical resistance. I said, we're just going to go up just to probe the stops. <laughs> and we did. Look at that. And then down we came. So it went exactly as forecast uh, using the technical and the sentiment. Uh, but basically, the narrative, the driver was liquidity probe. And it's just horrible. And uh, even if you had a wide stop, that would have probably taken you out. So it's really horrendous. So there we, there we come down. And we've got monthly pivot as a resistance. So be careful. Uh, if the, we see a big reversal on the USD, I'm probably going to be out today and tomorrow. And I'll uh, I'll try and get a trade of the day out tomorrow, but I can't trust any of these moves at all. This is so uh, <laughs> it's so uncertain. So be careful. Know where your stop is, and also if you're going to have a really wide stop, make sure your sizes are tiny because otherwise it's going to cause you know chaos to your account. So you know you could have had a wide stop there, and you might have been okay, but you need to have a micro lot. You wouldn't want to be trading with a a full size when it does an like 85 pips in an hour if on a one lot that would have been absolutely disgusting and horrible so uh, be really careful trade safely know your sizes know where your exit is keep an eye on the sentiment and keep an eye on that currency strength meter and the sheet as well so this is a really good one so definitely bookmark it i'll speak to you guys soon remember to trade safely